So you'll kind of see a picture here. I want to show it to you uh, to kind of give you a visual, right? So you see the two hot droppers. They're always going to be on opposite sides of the field. This is the, the top uh, pressure that we, pressure path we run with this. There are, uh, there are variations and checks based on, you know, whether it's trips detached or whatever you got. But just kind of giving you a visual so I get into some of the, uh, you know, the, the, the finer points in terms of the positions, right? You talk about the corners playing those hot thirds. You got your hot post player. Okay, you have your two hot droppers, understanding what that looks like. Okay, just try to give you a visual ahead of time, right? So we talk about that hot drop technique. And guys, if you want to do this stuff, all right, it's great to see the diagrams and kind of look at, the, look at it on tape. But in my opinion, and this is something that I learned, you know, not necessarily the hard way, but when I chose to install this, I think a big thing for us was figuring out the, the recipe, right, to, to bake in the cake, not just seeing what the cake looks like when it's baked, right? And so understanding that, the technique is by far the most important part of this coverage in terms of what those guys are doing on the back end. They got to understand that the ball is going to come out quick, but they got to play with great feet. They got to play with great eyes and they can't have wasted movement. Okay. So second level hot droppers, whether that's your, you know, your overhang, what we call our star, our will linebacker. Okay. That guy's going to be toes at five yards. Okay. In his alignment. Okay. On the snap of the football, his footwork is going to be back, back, right? So he's going to step backwards with both of his feet to about six, six and a half yards. If it's run game, every internal gap's taken away anyway. So he's looking to scrape over the top one way or the other, okay? If it is pass game now, okay, after he reads that, he's going to work off a of quarterback intention. So it's back, back, okay? And he's going to shuffle, okay? And he's going to shuffle off a of quarterback intentions, right? So if the QB's looking right at him, he's going to kill the turf under his feet, Okay, if the QB is slightly looking to one side or the other, it's going to be a tight shuffle, controlled shuffle, okay, and, and towards that direction for two. Okay, if obviously if the quarterback's looking way away from him, those shuffles are going to be long. They're going to be, they're going to be, you know, they're going to cover a ton of ground in that direction as, as he's working that way. After those two shuffles, if the QB is still looking in that direction, he's going to run on a, on a shelf. He's not going to gain ground. He's not going to give ground. He's going to run on a shelf as he turns the run. His eyes are going to snap to the front side. We talk, call it taking a screenshot, right? He's going to look at the front side, see what he's got, okay? If the QB is still looking there, he's going to get his eyes back and ready to break on quarterback intentions through, okay? Understand that, right? So if at any point in that process the QB pulls the pin on the grenade and takes his hand off, the control hand off the football, we're breaking now. We're obviously speeding up that process, right? So understand that's how he's got to go through it, right? So we talk about back, back, shuffle, shuffle, run. Back, back, shuffle, shuffle, run, right? That's the progression for guys in that regard, okay? A third level hot dropper, okay? So with safety, okay? His toes are going to be at 10 yards, all right? On the snap of the football, if his number two that he's playing off of is detached, he's going to kill the turf under his feet. So instead of that back, back, right, he's going to buzz his feet, be light on his toes, and he's going he's to go through that same exact progression. So it's pop, pop, shuffle, shuffle, run, right? And obviously that same coaching point of, where the QB's looking is going to really determine how wide or how controlled those shuffles are, okay? If his two is attached, so it's a run formation, he's got a tight end, a wing, it's his number two to his side, his footwork is going to be down, down, right? So just like the guy on the second level is going back, back, he goes down, down, okay? He's going to probably be around nine, eight and a half yards when he gets there, and then he's going to go through that same exact progression of shuffle, shuffle, run based on that, all right? So... If it is the free safety playing that hot drop to the weak side, okay, uh, versus trips, he's going to play what we call A-10 alignment. He's going to be in the weak side A-gap at 10 yards, and he's going to execute that from there. Hot post, okay? So the post player, he's going to open his hips on the snap of the football, right, towards the middle of the field. It's going to be two shuffles, so open, shuffle, shuffle. That's him clearing three-step, screen, run game. Those are his read steps, okay? After that, Almost same exact progression. So open, shuffle, shuffle, and then he is running on a 45, okay, on a high angle towards quarterback intentions, right? So understand something, right? Your post player in this defense is never going to be in a pedal, all right? If he opens, he's going to shuffle, shuffle. He's going to run. He's going to melt towards the first QB intentions, all right? If the QB flips his shoulders or goes somewhere quick, most of the time that's going to be a baseball turn or a speed turn back in the middle of the field, try to locate the, the receiver, and then the football, once he gets his head around, right, snap that elbow around with urgency, get your eyes back to the quarterback and ready to play. Understand that your corners on the outside are going to be overlapping stuff, the quarterback intention. So unless that ball is thrown on a rope, you should get that help. Okay, understand that. Okay, and then those hot third players, right? So the, the corners, they're going to be one by seven inside leverage. 
Okay, when you look at it versus a normal split, okay, they're going to they're, they're take a dead step, right? So pause, right? Whether that's a timing step with their lead foot, two controlled shuffles to clear that three-step window, run, what have you. Okay, and then they're going to be crossover running to QB intention. So if the QB's looking at them to their one, they're going to be vertically crossover running. They're not playing comebacks. They're not playing digs. Understand, right? It's three-step window and fade ball. That's what these guys got to understand, right? That's what they're playing, okay? If the QB's looking away from them, then they're going to be in an overlap angle to the number two to their side, try to get to that top shoulder by 18 yards. Okay, understand if that ball's on a rope, we got to play top down, make sure we're on that top shoulder ready for that PBU, Okay. And again, just a reference there, kind of what we're looking at, um, right, in terms of what the, what, the, what the picture looks like. So we'll check out some film now, okay, as you're seeing it, right? So as you're looking, right, you got your, your two hot droppers, your weak side inside linebacker, okay, and you have your, your, your field safety here, right? You're seeing his number two is attached. He's stepping down on the snap of the football. And again, he's going to try to keep the ball on his inside shoulder, okay? Him and the Will linebacker are the two hot droppers here in this picture. You see off the... You see off this action here, right, a lot of vertical penetration, right, guys playing in the backfield, all right, your safety's behind the line of scrimmage. Again, I'm not a quarters guy, right, but when you look at this, okay, your, 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 post, you know, your safeties are getting in the mix fairly quickly in this, in this regard. All right, you'll see the Will linebacker's feet here, number four, right, that back over the top now, right. He knows that every internal gap's taken away. He's playing inside out on everything. See it there, those guys playing well in tandem together. All right. Here we go. Okay. Again, that same pressure. Okay. America's blitz from the field, reduction from the boundary. They're trying to give read action here with your, my outside linebacker. Okay. He holds it. My right backer, he runs the trench. That's what we call that through the heels of the line. Okay, straight down the line of scrimmage here, and he runs it down from the backside. Now three by one, right, you'll see here, shake call, right, so this guy's out of the picture now as your overhang, right, your might takes his responsibility off the front side, your, will, your weak side inside linebacker, our will, takes the inside path from the B gap now, now you have your free safety and your field overhang, our star, are the two hot droppers you see in this picture, okay? So we shake it versus three detached. We call that a shake call, right? So you'll see that there. Just giving you an example of that. Okay, now, okay, again, big personnel groupings, understanding what I said about the identity earlier, dictating the tempo, all those sorts of things, all right? And this is what I'm talking about, right? Physicality at the point of attack, right? Overhang, boom. Right, set a fullback down. Okay, doing a great job here. Will linebacker over the top. Right, you see number four. Okay, doing a great job. Back, understanding that there's going to be no internal gap. Get over the top. Right, field safety here. Freshman at the time, by the way. Okay, boom. Right, look at all the hats of the ball. Look at all the hats of the ball. Right, five, six, seven guys. We're talking about volume at the football. All right, that's what we're talking about with this stuff. See again against heavier people again here, right? Getting in the backfield now. Right, our ability to get off the football, play in the paint. Okay, then you hear you see some RPO stuff, right? So this is first play of the game, big game, conference championship game, all right? Versus number eight team in the country, right? They want to throw a screen, this is part of their identity, right? We're in this pressure. Pretty good call for them. They have on, right? Our ability, though, to retrace, knock things back towards our pressure. Boom. Look how many hats are at the football. Outside the number. First play of the game. Dictating the tempo, right? We're going we're gonna to be the team that's going to run to the rock at a high level relentlessly, okay? And you're seeing that on the first snap of the football game, right? Seven, eight guys outside the numbers making a tackle for two yards, The retrace, volume at the football, 